hey you guys welcome or welcome back my name is mink and this is mink's kinks and y'all today we're gonna do like a spend a day with me day in the life type of mm, little situation so it's a random tuesday i'm off today so and my couch gets delivered today so i figured i would go ahead and vlog so. um, as you guys can see i got a little cute protective style going on let me show you guys in the mirror so we got a cute little protective style going i just have my leggings and a sweatshirt because just went to the bakery but yeah this is the little braid i did i did it all by myself and y'all i use this product right here don't mind my dirty sink but this product is absolute garbage um, I keep trying to use it up, but y'all, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like flakes in my hair. And every time I use it, there are flakes and I don't like that. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, um, we're just going to kind of hang out today. Um, so we're about to go to the bakery and then um, I need to unpack some more. The couch gets delivered between 12 and 3. My dad's supposed to come help me build some stuff. And um yeah i have a little rant that we need to talk about later too but yeah y'all i'll pick y'all up later okay you guys so i'm back Gave you guys a little snippet of my breakfast today um but i wanted to come back and show you guys just what my little apartment is looking like um right now like um there's still stuff all over the place i feel like there's a lot of pressure to unpack like immediately but i still want to live my life i still work a full-time job so unpacking you know as soon as i get off work or anything like that is just too much so i want to come through and show you guys a realistic what my apartment's looking like almost a month after i moved in um so this section over here is just empty boxes hair products that still need to be assorted um that's the bookcase that me and my dad are going to try and figure out today and then there's still these are more hair products these are clothes my bookshelf these are all books to go on the bookshelf but um i wasn't sure how far i wanted my bookshelf to be like in the living room space um because i'm not sure how big the tv stand is just yet so we're getting to work today um i just have little piles of stuff that need to go in certain places all my body lotions chill this is what my room looks like it's a mess because i just woke up chill don't judge me um and then my bathroom is probably the most put together but i was cleaning my makeup brushes so um you know my counter looks a little crazy that's that trash product that i was telling y'all about but y'all i want to do a little rant and i think i'm gonna just stand here in the bathroom because i like the lighting in here and i just want to i want to have a little little kiki a little chit chat so um let's talk about brand sponsorships um collaborating with brands all of that type stuff because y'all i'm gonna tell you even as a smaller influencer a smaller youtuber instagram content creator um y'all know what i'm saying if you don't follow me on instagram you absolutely should be i will um put a pop-up somewhere but it's the same as my youtube it is at minx kinks so i'll put that somewhere but i've had a lot of brands reach out to me and want to send me products um but the brands don't want to pay honey and that's the problem so it's one thing for a brand to send me a product because i may actually just be interested in a product and don't mind but you don't get to send me all the rules all the instructions all the you know you know what i'm saying like direction that you want the content to go when you're just sending me free products like you're not paying me to edit a certain way you're not paying me to share it on certain platforms you're basically sending me your product so that i can try it out and have the potential to like it and then share it with um the people who follow me the people who subscribe to me you know what i'm saying so i've had quite a few brands i've had some skincare brands reach out to me i've had some very big 
primarily skincare brands but are branching out into hair care and when I always bring up the question like what type of collaboration is this are you just sending me products are you you know making sure you're giving me a discount code for my subscribers to try out if they do want to try out because that's one thing I'm gonna always do is look out for my subbies because y'all support me and I just feel like if you heard about a product from me even though I when we get a discount code it's not like um I get paid for it that's a different thing that's like when you're like a brand ambassador or like affiliate and you get like compensated for people who buy your products I haven't had one of those type of collaborations yet and I do think that they're beneficial for influencers because a lot of people y'all if you're hip to the natural hair community a lot um, just a lot of natural hair influencers have put a lot of us on to different products and I just feel like you should be compensated for that these are they put their you know it could reach thousands of people in you're telling me that I shouldn't get get nothing from it and I think a lot of natural hair influencers in particular are starting to feel this way because I know for my channel alone, like I do a lot of content for a lot of bigger brands who may not know micro influencers kind of thing. Hopefully I'll be hitting a thousand soon so I won't be as micro but still small in comparison to a hundred thousand subscribers or a million subscribers or you know anything like that. But um, it's that as well as um, people just not necessarily responding um so I may say like oh is this a pay collaboration and it's a genuine question because sometimes brands don't necessarily have the following or the money to put behind influencers but they still want to you know collab and I'm totally okay with that I actually have a brand that I'm um not necessarily working with but that I reached out to um and We'll get to that in a little bit but yeah so that's been a hard thing for me is that they don't want to put money into influencers but y'all it takes so much time to film natural hair videos i'm sure you guys have heard that before it takes forever you got to film the wash day you got to make sure the lighting's right the angle's right so you guys can see everything as well as just you know making sure that it's content that you guys want to see having to buy new products like x y and z and don't even get me started on editing because editing um um, just takes a, a long time like it's it's something that you want to be done right um I don't know you guys I've just been not necessarily not necessarily in a rut per se because I love creating natural hair content so many of you guys I'm grateful for you guys noticing um just my passion for hair products for hair for curly hair for skincare for all things beauty um and that's partially why I have been diversifying my content um with vlogs with the apartment stuff with skincare with clothing hauls um i just like to do all types of stuff like that just to cover all my bases and it also plays into the more mint concept so i don't know if you guys have noticed but in the past couple videos i've been um putting like more mink in the title um and it's a playlist that i'm trying to create just to show you guys just more of who i am outside of natural hair of course i love natural hair and i'm always going to make natural hair content but just to give you guys just a little bit more of who I am just on a daily basis just as a woman okay as a woman as Isimeme Adeko says a woman mm -hmm. um, and just show my growth journey journey as well and just give you guys a little bit more insight about who I am because I feel like on Instagram you know people post what they want you to see like it's not always the the hard stuff and I feel like I just want to um just be a little bit more transparent not that I wasn't before but just to give you guys a little bit more so yeah you guys that's my little rant I hope it wasn't too long I hope you guys understand I really appreciate you guys support I appreciate the brands who reach out to me and want to work with me and x y and z and um I'm growing I'm growing and I'm learning and um there's always some growing pains so yeah that's the end of the little rant okay but y'all so um i think it's like nine o'clock so i'm gonna just try and unpack as much stuff as humanly possible um my dad's supposed to come um and be with me while they deliver my couch and like i said help me build some stuff because i'm not handy manny um 
and yeah and then later on today let me show y'all um so the company that i was talking about is ruled, ruled by mercury co um and they are like a skincare type of company so i know they have a lot of bath bombs a lot of like bath oil shower oils stuff like that and i reached out to the owner because i was just really um excited about trying her products and i just wanted to let her know that i would be showcasing them and just see if she wanted to collaborate with me so i want to highlight them in my little vloggy vlog today so that's what we're going to get into. And I'm going to show you guys the couple things that um, I got from her. She did send me um, like a free sample of something else as well. It was a bath bomb. And um, child, I don't remember what it was. But I used it like two days ago. And y'all, it was beautiful. The colors were so vibrant. I'll make sure I um, put her Instagram down below. The owner is really nice, really thoughtful, very sweet. Um, the colors were beautiful in the bath bomb. A baby. I gotta get that shower oil because the glitter in there was okay so let's get into what I have here so this is the first item and this is the minty enough for me cedar pine berry mint musk big bubble scoop and um, I'm pretty sure you just like pop this in there or you break it apart because it's pretty soft um, so you break it apart and it just makes like a big lather so I'm excited to try this one then there's the Rainbows in the Sky Bath Bomb Mix. It's orange, peach, and lemon. And this is a bath bomb. And this is one that I saw on her Instagram page. And it opens up and it's like a rainbow in the tub. And I'm so excited to try this one. And then the last but not least was this massive bath bomb. Y'all, can we get into it? It did break a little bit, but it's okay. It's like a bamboo tree, I think it is. Yeah. So this is the Lucky Bamboo Bath Bomb with bamboo soap so i'm super excited to try that i think this is gonna be the one i use today just because this one is huge like can we get into the thickness honey i'm very excited to try this so, so i'm just gonna take you guys along with me on the rest of the day just spend the day with me um as you guys can see i'm cleaning my makeup brushes i still got a ton of brushes to go i don't know y'all it's just i just want to be productive today and i wanted to bring you guys along with me because i'm in a great mood i think today will be a great vloggy vlog day and yeah y'all let me know i've gotten a lot of good feedback on my vlogs actually so comment down below or like the video if you um want me to keep up with vlogging and just comment down below some things that you want me to see i've been thinking about doing a pittsburgh type vlog and just taking you guys around like the staple things in pittsburgh so let me know if you guys want to do that i don't know i just have a ton of different ideas and things that i want to do so ciao i've been rambling so i will pick you guys up when something monumental is happening. okay you guys so i'm back and this is my dad <laughs> And we are building things. He's playing Bob the Builder, so we have this bookshelf that has somehow got to get, or not, I keep calling it a bookshelf. The TV stand um, that somehow needs to be put up. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. As y'all can see, we have a huge box here and a bunch of pieces. So this is my couch all over the place. Um, I'm gonna put it up, but. Me and my dad got, here's the bookcase as it is right now. Me and my dad got a good ways through, but then we started to get frustrated. And what was supposed to be working wasn't working. So, I had to take a time out. I'll fiddle with it some more um, whenever I get back. And if I can't figure it out, child, I'll just ask my mom to come and help me. Because she likes to put things together anyway. But yeah, I'm about to go get something to eat real quick. I need to do my braid again because child she is dusty the um product y'all can't see the flakes but like there's flakes all up and through my hair so i'm gonna try it again so that it's not as flaky but you know um it is what it is so yeah y'all pick y'all up when <laughs> look at the shelf <laughs> i'll pick you guys up whenever i get back i guess all right you guys hey um i just wanted to come back and let you guys chill i am exhausted i look crusty and very dusty um but i just wanted to give you guys a little recap so my couch did come so i want to show you guys that i've been getting my products up on the shelf chill i've been i've been working today okay um 
and then my mom is going to come over and try and help me with this TV stand because child. Mm, but <laughs> let me show y'all what it's looking like now. But I got this box of boxes that I want to take to recycle. Um, here are some products. A lot of my products do go in my um, cover, which they'll go in this one because of right here. But this is what the shelf is looking like. I like to organize by brand. So pretty much these bottom three, this one um, down here is almost all Shea Moisture and then over here I have Urban Hydration. Second row is Main Choice. I have Sultanicals in the front, um, African Pride in the back, and then Honey's Handmade Products. Um, and if you haven't seen my video about why I'm trying to get rid of those products, that will be linked up above. But a lot of the Honey Handmade Products will be going, especially this summer. Um, this one here, this is the products that I plan to use soon or am already using. Those are like my current wash day and a lot of my jars, like, let me show y'all. This is how much I have left in it, but it's definitely not enough for a whole use. So I'm going to just be trying to use those up and that's pretty much what the next three of my wash days <laughs> looks like. Um, so I'll be mixing and matching with different ones that I've used before and just need to get rid of. But that's my wash day stuff. Here I have the couple niche products that I do have. Um, right here, I have my East of Eden butter right there. This um, style soda needs to go in the back because it looks crazy. So I have niche. I have curls back here. Um, Camille Rose. And then Eden Body Works is all back here. And then a random hair paint color. Next shelf, all I know for sure is that my yellow is going to go in the back because she's not getting no shine on my channel as is how you say mate y'all won't be seeing that um i have a bunch of products from curls and potions haven't tried any of those yet i did do a haul so i'll link that up above as well behind that i have a bunch of carol's daughter's products maui moisture i only have two other two or three other products from them because i'll be using one of their masks soon tgin um is right here i don't think i'm gonna leave that there but i just didn't know where i wanted to put it yet so i actually put that on the floor and try to figure out where i want that to go and then i have as i am products which i'm not really thrilled about but i have a good bit that i need to get through and then up here i have cantu and then cream of nature i have more cantu product or cream of nature products i'm just not sure what box or bin they're in and then i have allocate naturals which these probably won't be going in the front because i don't know i just don't gravitate towards them but yeah so that's what the shelf is looking like um and then there's these products here these are products that i do want to use sooner rather than later and then these are later products like a lot of it shampoos and stuff here's this daggone book or tv stand that me and my mom are gonna work on later um but as you guys can see i've been getting into some of these boxes a lot of the bins are like halfway full and i just need to take the clothes out or i know one bin is full of swimsuits chow these boxes over here are books for my bookcase but i didn't want to take the books out because you know books be heavy on the bookcase so i wanted to figure out where i wanted um the tv stand and the couch to be before i moved the bookcase with all the books and everything on it but this is the couch and can we get into the color like i love the color it's super close to everything right now but that's because i got these bins as well as um just stuff everywhere child so i'll move it eventually but yeah that's what we're looking like right now so um if i remember i'll pick my mama up or i'll show you guys pick up the camera to show you guys my mama in the vlog but hey um <laughs> But yeah, y'all, I know for sure I'm going to show you guys my bath routine tonight because we are doing some self-care today. I need a bath, I need to read a book, and I need to unwind before I have to go back to work. So, Hi. we're stressed. I'm trying to figure we're out We're not this. stressed. We got this. I'm stressed. She's stressed. I'm not. She's Bob this. the Builder or Nichelle the Builder. Yeah. Um, Need the Builder. Yeah. We came, <laughs> we came a long way, so... We really did. We just ordered a pizza as well because... We're going to get this done tonight. The TV will be on the stand tonight. Trust. Trust. Yes. Hey, you guys. So, I am back for the final time tonight. I just wanted to give you guys one more pass through of what my little place is looking like. I got through so much stuff today. Um, as you guys can tell, but I, I took the braid out, child. I'm going to just do it again because crusty isn't even a word. But I got a lot of stuff done today and I feel super accomplished, but child look at the flakes i told you that product was trash um but i'm exhausted um so i pretty much finished the shelf today 
I um, built the couch all by myself and then the um, TV stand with me and my mom. So I'm going to just go ahead and show you guys and then whew, we'll call it a wrap for today, okay? So here is what my shelf is looking like. So as you guys can see, it's awful. I have that little bin over there that's full. I usually fill up one of those like TJ Maxx bags with products. Um, and I still have some products in some of those bins, yikes, but, um, those are just gonna have to go in the bag because, <laughs> um, and then you come in here, this is what the couch is looking like, don't mind my braid, um, yeah, and then this is what the TV stand is looking like, and I have some wall art plans that I think I want to do, I think I want two big pictures on, um, right above the TV or like right off of the TV, but yeah. So I think tomorrow I'm going to just try and do the bookcase. I want it to be moved down a bit. So it'll be just like a little like triangle and then you can spin around and come to my mirror. So yeah, y'all, that's what we're looking like today. Um, and we're going to call that the end of the vlog. So actually, you guys, um, I was supposed to take a bath and use my bath bomb and everything. But I'm so sorry that is not that's not going down here today. <laughs> Um, but I will insert a clip of me using it, but yeah, I'm definitely very excited to use the bath bomb and everything, but today's just not the day. I did a little bit too much today, so yeah, y'all, that's the end of the vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for the support on my vlogs recently. They've been getting a lot of love. You guys have been letting me know that you've really liked them. Child, I look crazy. Um... <laughs> that you guys really like them and everything so i really appreciate the love i appreciate the feedback let me know some of the things you want to see me do do you like these like day in the life type of videos let me know i don't know um but yeah you guys that's the end of this video like comment subscribe i love you guys so so much and i'll see you in my next one bye